Uh, hello there, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So this is Cobra part 5. Axis turn. Uh, Cobra <laughs> part 5, saved game 006. Axis turn 4. Talking about confusing. Uh, yeah, in the previous video uh, we did quite a lot of damage to the enemy. We, ha we have lost the fighter and for those of you who are wondering why I sent the fighter, you know, into almost certain death, uh, prestige. Since we have to prepare the defenses around Nant and the enemies are getting closer. Two more turns, they will reach us, and we have, uh, we need to have <laughs> at least two units, preferably three. It would be perfect to have four, but you know, one is not enough. Anyway, uh, first we will. Uh, Attack a couple of air units to make room for our ground units that will have to retreat. And the first one to attack will be this flag with a strength of 1. And it will attack this marauder. It will probably not work, but we still have to try it. Yeah, I thought so. And now, to make more room, we will attack the Spitfire and bring bring its strength down. Very nice. Okay. For a while, enough with the air units. Now we need to break through this line. <coughs> As you can see, there are plenty of infantry facing our armored units, which can only mean that the Brits are running out of armor. And we should, you know, you know, destroy them here. So we can face Americans, uh, you know, uh, start to harass their flanks after we are of course done with the air units and also uh, we will try to take Khan so uh, first we'll attack this artillery This was a very poor result. Still better than nothing. So now we lose our React Panzer 4 to destroy this comet. Okay. And we'll park our anti-tank gun here. Now with this Panther J we will attack this artillery. Force it to retreat probably since I do not think we can destroy it. Not without some major good luck and I do not really believe in good luck. Mm, uh, so close, but still too far away. Uh, now for this Chrome 4 tank, which is actually a good one, we'll weaken it with our medium art 
artilleries its entrenchment of course okay perhaps some result at least with this one Excellent. And now we can use our Panther A to attack and probably destroy this Chrome. Firing at the same time. Not good. But we have survived without a scratch and the enemy has surrendered. Wonderful. Uh huh. So now we save, definitely, because I need to think about this a little bit. So it's Cobra 007. Now the idea is of course to attack this tank. And then do a follow-up atta attack with our Nashhorn. And you know, destroy it. As usual. But first... Hmm. Too many, you know. Allied air units in the area. What if we do it like this? What if we attack with our panther? And worry about consequences later. Just let me check something. If we remove these two units, can the bridge engineers advance to towards something important? Yeah, they can. Probably will. They can attack this artillery, probably not uh, this uh, air defense. Yeah. Okay, but it is a good idea, I believe, and I'll do it. Attack. <coughs> Wow! This unit is destroyed. Hmm. Now what? You know, I was hoping to use this Nash horn as well, and now. Ah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Uh. We need to place our panther somewhere where it is protected by air defenses. At least one, you know, so... It can probably go here. Uh, one, two, three, no. God damn it, you know. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for such a good result and now <laughs> I have no idea what to do. And I cannot pause, you know, I can pause of course, but I will have to move this panther before doing anything else, since I really don't want to leave it here, you know, to be attacked again. Whew. Not good, not good at all. Well, you can go here. If we go here, we are blocking um, 
this reckon and this inf, but we are not blocking these two infantries here. And I'm sure they will take advantage of the situation. But I guess this is something we'll have to live with. So, yeah, you are here now. Hmm. Ay, 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 ay. Before we do anything else, I think we'll destroy this T bolt. Yeah. I think we should. What can we do with this air defense? After we are done. Yeah, we can also try to destroy this Marauder. Okay, so first we'll attack this Tybalt. Not really happy about this situation, you know. Okay, but the Tybalt has to die. Come on. I do not fire first, you bastard. Wonderful and excellent for the prestige. Yeah, and now it is time, of course, to save the game. Uh, Cobra 007, and now I really need a pause. I have to think about, uh, you know, what to do next. Uh, be right back in no time <laughs> okay uh, yo I'm back uh, uh, no matter how much I'm thinking about it I cannot seem to find you know the use for this um, Nash horn I mean I cannot I can find it I did find it but if we remove it from here, then we will jeopardize our defense, and this is not something I would like. So first we'll move our infantry away, then also this anti-tank. And even though I'm all, you know, in the support of um, always using all of the units on each and every turn, you know, if I remove this Nash horn, then the bridge engineers can come here inside our defenses or this inf or, you know, whatever the enemy is hiding and then we'll be in trouble since our artilleries are not in top shape it is still a so-so thing you know since uh, even this if these British uh, bridge engineers attack they will get shelled by this artillery and also the initiative is the same but We'll have to worry about it, about it some other time. So first we'll attack this church and see what happens. It actually didn't work. So we'll block the access the access to our artillery here what happens if we send our Nash horn yeah shit will happen if we attack this Churchill but also shit will happen if 
This Achilles will fire first and it is such a close call, you know, initiative of 12 versus, versus initiative of 11 and I do not trust uh, this art, so, no. Okay, so we are back to this non-victory, but still strategically very important objective. First we'll shell this inf. Very nice, and now we'll destroy it. Okay. Good. And if you can still remember, there was an artillery firing from this position on our infantry in the previous video. So, I think it is our duty, you know, to attack it, since it was a heavy artillery and this is a light one. Just in case, we'll go in safely. Okay. But, this is probably... Ah, yeah, it is. So, two light artilleries for medium if you wish and one heavy. A very good one will attack this one, most definitely. Come on. Ouch. Okay, we have forced it to retreat. Uh, we will not proceed uh, with our Panther A. Probably we will give it elite replacements, but still not sure since we also need prestige for purchasing units around Nand. This will very shortly become a very important issue. So, first we'll attack the Spitfire. Yeah, we are in range of this artillery, I know. But I do not move, I do not want to move uh, this flag away since it is protecting crucial units. Die, you bastard! Very nice. And we'll stay put. <coughs> yeah, so this Nash Horn, even though we have some ideas what to do with it, it will have to stay put. And even though we can see that there are no artilleries covering this inf, we will not attack it, since, you know, otherwise then this artillery will attack on the next turn, on the, actually on the same turn, allied turn, and then we lose this Nashorn. And even though it has really shitty, you know, ground defense, it is excellent versus anti-tanks, so it will just stay here. But now we'll try to destroy this Marauder by using this very good uh, flag, but only with the strength of 7. So come on, some good luck, please. Excellent. And we stay put. And now our inexperienced flag is free to attack this Mustang. Bring it, you know, down to more reasonable <laughs> combat strength. 
and will stay put since we are protecting our panther D and also you know the artillery and or maybe we can actually well yeah why not we can actually send it one hex north since yeah yeah sure we'll send it one hex north since no artilleries can attack it yeah and it will still be protecting our tank and also provide better protection for this artillery so sure now if somebody attacks this inf then we are in trouble I was calculating you know the movement of this free French reckon so it is one two three four one two three four six seven huh I see Yes, but this should not change our plans, I think, since, um, yeah, okay. We attack this Mustang. <sighs> not as good as it was projected, but probably still good enough. And I have decided to stay put. Hmm. Is this a good idea? No, actually it's not. Uh, come here. Spotting of fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, now what? We have another air defense. which we will use to attack this Spitfire or maybe this T-Bolt 5 3 no, Spitfire always a better target, so yeah even though, you know, this T-Bolt is getting close closer, not really close four stars of experience um. oh god damn it this is so difficult you know um. hmm. okay let us attack the spitfire Initiative of six, initiative of five. Uh, hmm. Well, to be honest, since we will not send more of our fighters into action, I think it is more important to attack this T bolt, even though we'll have probably less success, but T bolt are much more dangerous against ground units as well so mosquito 14 16 okay we'll attack this t-bolt sorry for uh, <coughs> sorry you know I was thinking too hard about it and took a lot of time doing it but come on <laughs> huge result now we have to save it <laughs> wonderful 
M of 1, M of 2. Ah, both are low, so. Time to save. Cobra 007. So again, we are all James Bonds. This inf is going to the victory objective to protect it and this one has arrived in Paris and it will stay here until the end of the scenario, probably. Prestige, excellent, as you can see, 567, wonderful. And now we'll bring another inf closer here to assist with either this inf or this Achilles which is very weak against soft targets and even though this will cost a lot of prestige we have to give elite replacements to our Panther A this inf and this inf also. Okay, and um, as you have probably learned by now, um, when the enemy fires, it's pretty much the same as with uh, the artillery here. Um, they do not move the artillery. So the one that was attacking our air defense in the city of Fojor I'm not sure if this is the correct pronunciation but you know is probably still here and since we have no need for our infantry anymore uh, we will try to find it and attack it so if it is here it's good if not if I don't know if there is tank here then but I'm pretty sure that they uh, the enemy did not move the artillery so okay we found it excellent attack do some serious damage wonderful <coughs> Okay, so this is the first unit that is defending the city of Nant. This one we must not move. Two fighters. Ah. Okay, one last pause. Since I have to think what to purchased near Nant and what to do with the fighters uh, you know since in the previous turn in the previous video too I forgot about the spotting capabilities of this T-Bolt and this is why our air defense was attacked by the Spitfire I should have brought it you know I don't know here it would be safe here and then into the city but I was too eager and forgot uh, this is for me often the case when doing an LP of Panzer General I'm really not at my max even though I take a lot of pauses but like I said uh, when I'm playing this at home nobody watching uh, I take my time if it is you know five minutes it's five minutes if it is half an hour it's half an hour and if I want to quit for the day then I continue the next day uh, not the case with an LP so okay give me a second need to think about this a little be right back okay I'm back for some last moves Um, this Reckon can 
in theory reach you know one two three four five six seven eight has a spotting of five so one two three four five and it can see our fighters and we do not want this so we'll just move them away just let me check something just in case spotting of two so we we have to move our fighters away you know just in case this reckon you know starts exploring too much and then we have this yacht panther here and this nash horn here so the only two units remaining we know we have to keep uh, our nash horn in place and we will but we also have an opportunity to purchase another react panther and we will not enough prestige for a tiger 2 5 prestige remaining but we still have time and first we will have to deal with the enemy uh, actually almost exclusively American units in transports uh, infantries and artilleries and then the tanks will come so even though it is cheaper to purchase JP elephants I prefer the movement of six you know so I'll spend a little more just to be able you know to confront the enemy units before they are extremely close to this victory objective so here we go another react panther and yeah this is it let us just check the casualties so we have destroyed actually eight tanks by now sure in the infantry department we are losing but this was expected in artillery we are winning slightly and I think equal air defense lost on our side well of course uh, the enemy doesn't need air defenses since it has air superiority and one fighter traded for four of the enemy's fighters and one tactical bomber land transports also equal and as you remember we have sacrificed our um, paratroopers you know to provoke the attack of the allies so yeah let us save this again on Cobra 007 give the enemy its turn weather ok and then we'll finish this video just let me check something yeah I think we are safe here <coughs> what will happen now only the gut of Panzer General can tell so yeah end this turn no I want to see it one more time sorry folks <laughs> I need to see it uh, why the fuck did I you know say that I will do Cobra <laughs> it's not even fun anymore you know I'm actually hurting <laughs> but okay um, 
Mm, yeah. Okay. And come on. Okay, he went for this pen. Sir for J. Excellent. We are close to three stars of experience. Come on, now destroy this bastard as well. No. Two air defenses versus Marauder and it is still... But we have survived, okay. Uh, now please destroy this mosquito. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Kill him. Marvelous. Attack broken up. Okay, he has brought this bloody Lancaster. This was not good. I was hoping that the Lancaster... Uh, but this is better, you know. Let him attack our artillery. Just our air defenses have to be, you know, safe. Nashorn. Very nice. And now our infantry will die. Now you have seen uh, all of the American power in the area. Uh, yeah. How? <laughs> you bastard. Okay, but we will destroy this unit, no problem. Um, what about the air units? This Lancaster, this I do not like. But I'm not planning to place any of our units into the city of Nantes, so yeah. Uh, here. Now we'll deal with the Achilles, most definitely. Also we'll deal with uh, this Spitfire, it will be gone. Mm. Okay, a Mustang is in the area, it will also be destroyed, and yet another Mustang, so... Yeah. I do not want to comment this prematurely, but I think we have won the battle around um, Falaise and Khan. I think our defensive circle has won. Has won, not won. Oh my god, sorry for my English. Uh, and now the battle around Nantes will begin very soon if we are lucky enough then yes uh, this scenario will be ours Hmm. What else to say? We have an artillery here, which we can destroy. But how in the world this unit <laughs> advance towards our airfield? Okay, yeah, we will destroy it, but still, you know, uh, kind of strange. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think we are winning. Um, one more video and then I think I will be able 
to tell for sure uh, whether this will be an Axis victory or an Allied victory. Or maybe two more videos. Uh, but yeah, it is going our way. Check the casualties. Um, we are winning. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, thank. Oh, have to save the game. Uh, Cobra uh, zero zero seven. So, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic, and bye bye.